How are you doing, guys? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Sorry, good evening. Good, good evening, good teacher. Evening. Sorry, I have another class that I just left here. So, anyways, how are you? How was your day? Carlos, nice to see you early. How was your day today? Hi, how are you? Um, it was very stressful at work, but I am good now. All right. How about yourself? It was good, man. It was good. All right. Yeah, sometimes jobs are stressful, right? So just relax right now. Yeah. All right, guys, did you... Um, yeah, talk about I'm sorry. Go go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, no. That was nothing. Go ahead. No, I was gonna. Uh, I was gonna say, did you finish the first section? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, yes Dave. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so uh, let's let's pull it up then. Let me bring up the presentation here. So, what about you? Um, uh, let's see, Brenda Lopez. How was how was your day? Good evening. It was good. It was good? Yeah. All right. And Mr. Jorge Mendoza, what do you do? Uh, it was good. My day, I am feeling good today. Uh, today is Friday. My, it's, it's you, it's, tomorrow is Saturday. And I spend time with family too tomorrow. And Sunday, I take a relax. Sunday. Okay. On Sunday, you relax. Okay. Don't say take a relax. That doesn't exist. Okay. All right. All right. Beautiful. Uh, Ricardo, you're always smiling. So what about you? Yes, it's fine. Yes, it's because I enjoy my my job. It's every day. It is uh, discovering new 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 problem and new solution. And this is uh, improving my my job. It's, it's every day. This is my I I, I enjoy my job. <laughs> You enjoy your job. What is it that you do for a living? Uh, what? Repeat. What is it that you do for a living? For a, a is it for a living. Yes. Uh, it's a, I, I, I live in Lopango. That's a, it's a, in my job. Uh, is, I work in uh, near my 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 house. It's, uh, uh, I, 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 um, I, I have to resolve many problems uh, during the day uh, because I, I work in, in the quality control department. Oh, okay. You work in the uh, quality control department? Yes, yes. But I, not, not at Tigo? No. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I work in a um, uh, spinning, spinning, spinning meals. Is a uh, make a a, a a yarn for to for to make a fabric. Okay, to make a yarn. What is a yarn? Yarn is 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 is, is, is for the make a, a fabric. The, the, it's a um, like a hilo, hilo, hilo. Okay, okay. yeah. Like, you mean you mean thread. Thread of, 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 of yarn. Uh, yarn is is a, is a, a. Oh, I mean yarn. Yarn. Yes. Like no, not ja, the yarn. Repeat yarn. Yarn. Yes. yarn. Okay, all right, all right. That's different. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Brenda, sorry, I, sorry oh. I have a question. What that means, yarn? Yarn. Yarn is. Let me let me show you. <laughs> I never hear that. Yarn is this. Can you see? Not yet. Not oh, yet. yeah. Yes. All right. This is what you mean, right, Ricardo? Yes, it's like, 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 like this. Uh, yes. Okay, all right. Yarn. All right, that's called yarn, not yarn. You're, you were saying yarn. That's, that's not it, okay? Yarn. Sure. All right. Well, hey, that's pretty cool, man. What about you, Elena? How was your day? Hi. Um, it's a little busy, but um, I'm ready for the class. All right. Beautiful, guys. Thank All right, you. guys. So, everybody, let's jump into this section. 
Uh, hold on. So everybody, we're gonna solve together the exercise 1.4. Did we solve it yesterday? I'm not quite sure if we, if we solved it yesterday. Did we solve this exercise yesterday, guys? Yes, we did. Yes. Yes, yes we, we did? did. All right, beautiful, beautiful then. Hold on. All right then. So let's go to the lesson objective for today, Mr. Uh, Ms. Gloria. Gloria, help me read. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. All right. Help me read, uh, Gloria. Sorry? Help me read. Okay. By the end of the class, participants will learn adjectives that describe personal characteristics. Okay. Is correct, teacher, characteristics? Repeat, guys. Learn. 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 Describe. Learn. Describe. Describe. All right, characteristics. Characteristics. All right, guys, do not say characteristics. When you say characteristic, kumaso, right? No kumaso. All right, car, repeat car. 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 It's like an R from, um, you know, you know, have you have you ever seen pirates? When they go like R. Everybody say R. <laughs> Everybody, repeat. R. 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 Right, so it's car. 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 Characteristics. Characteristics. All right, all right, close enough. You need to practice those sounds, okay? Yes. Beautiful, guys. So, yeah, let's get some vocabulary out of the way, okay? Let's watch. Let's watch a video. Oh, why, why is my side coming out from a different place? Hold on. All right, guys, so uh, would you please help me read? Um, let's see, Marjorie, help me read, Marjorie. Number one. Go, Marjorie. Number one, is it going? An easygoing person is someone who doesn't worry much or get angry easily. Beautiful pronunciation. Hey, good job. Plus for Marjorie, guys. Good job, Marjorie. Okay, write it down in your notebook, guys. All right, next one. Marjorie, pick someone. Um, participants. Running. Uh, Carlos Alfaro. Running. All right, Carlos. Let's go, okay. Carlos. Give me the other one. Uh, the second one, right? Yes. Okay. Is uh, egoist, no, egotistical, um, egotistical person is someone who has a very high opinion of him. No. Okay, repeat, guys. Egotistical. Egotistical. Okay, beautiful egotistical. job, man. All right, the pronunciation was almost correct. It's just that E is an E, egotistical, right? Beautiful. Egotistical. All right, number three, pick someone else. Jorge Mendoza, I like your background, Jorge, right? You're, you're like, you're okay, like in teacher. a nice place right now. All right, number three. Okay, I'm flexible. Is in, I'm in a flexible person is someone who doesn't change easily and is a stubborn. Okay, you have to, let's let's correct that pronunciation. Everybody repeat. An inflexible person is someone who doesn't change easily and is stubborn. It's repeat. Stop for an inflexible person. Someone who doesn't, doesn't change, change easily, easily and, and is stubborn. stubborn. All right, what notice. Is, I'm uh, sorry. What's the meaning of stubborn? Stubborn is when you stubborn is 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 this man an inflexible person? <laughs> <laughs> no, stubborn man is like when you go, hey, um, uh, I don't know, man, like when your when your wife or girlfriend tells you that you're wrong, 
but you say that you're right. No, I'm right. I know that I am right. Nah, I'm going to do this because I'm right. So that's, you're being stubborn. Did you get it? Yes, I got it. You got it? Okay. Um, I have, I forgot the, the word in Spanish, man. But yeah, it's like you, when you say that you're right and you keep. Obstinado? Keep yeah, like obstinado. Uh -huh. something like that. I guess the, the word is terco. Yeah, it's terco. Beautiful, beautiful. But don't speak Spanish, okay? Beautiful. All right, so next one, Brenda, number four. Modest. A modest person is someone who doesn't brag about his or her accomplishment. I repeat, guys, accomplishments. Accomplishments. Accomplishment. Accomplishment. Right? Right, right, right. Brag, guys, brag is con, like alucinar. Like, you you know, like when we say, right. Vos has right? brag. All right, now, guys, notice something here. Are you noticing that, how many clauses do we have here, guys? Remember the class that we have, that we've had this week. How many clauses do we have here? Oh, okay. One. Are they? No, I mean, in, in one sentence. Let's, let's use oh, okay. this, this, this one two. sentence. Two, guys, okay? We have two there. All right, and what is the, um, what is the relative clause that we're using here? Who? Who, okay. Who. All right. Who? So now notice this is basically this is basically one of the usages for relative clauses, right? We're describing the meaning of something. So you can say whatever. Uh, Victor is someone who likes to eat a lot of Coca-Cola. I don't know. Something like that, right? So you're describing something, right? Uh, David is a person who likes uh, a lot of Pilsner. Right, just kidding. But uh, that's another example. So you can you can describe. It. Now continue with the next one. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Francisco, let's go with the next one. The f the fifth. Yeah, the fifth one. Okay, sociable. A sociable person is someone who enjoys being with other people. Beautiful. Okay. Who here is a sociable person? Me teacher. Me teacher. Me teacher, I think so. Beautiful, beautiful, <laughs> right? So you like Pilsner? Uh, social, social, social people like estar entrecheros, right? Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, man. Right, uh, Elena, go number six. G. A stingy person is someone who doesn't like sharing. Beautiful job, beautiful pronunciation. Pick someone else. Um, let me see. Five, four, three. Imedrano, let's go, Imedrano. Imedrano, but I don't, I don't know the name. Uh, supportive. A supportive person is someone who is helpful and encouraged. Beautiful. Encouraging. Yeah. Repeat, guys. Encouraging. Encouraging. All right. Uh, Ronnie, number eight. Okay. Temperamental. A temperamental person is someone who has a unpredictable uh, or irregular mood. Okay, beautiful job. And the last one, Allison, number nine. Unreal level. <laughs> it's okay. I'll correct you later. And Okay, an unreliable person is someone who doesn't do what he or she. Okay, repeat, guys. Unreliable. Unreliable. All right, don't, guys, don't don't tell me reliable like like your card to be right No. All right, repeat, guys. Un. 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 Re. No, ah, don't say rrr. Henri. 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 Liable. 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 Liable.
right. Now, the sound of that, guys, is not all unreliable. It's un. Like this, guys. Everybody say uh. 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 It's like when you're saying, when you're saying ah, everybody say ah. Everybody say ah. Ah. Uh. Uh, right, beautiful, mm -hmm. like in Spanish, right? Ah, but now say O with the same shape of the of of, oh. of the letter A, like this. Ah, uh, ah, uh, beautiful. So that is the sound uh, unreliable. Uh, uh, unreliable. Unreliable. Right, like like you're a rapper, right? Uh, 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 unreliable. Uh, <laughs> I see. Unreliable. So that's how you pronounce it. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, guys. So, what you are going to do right now? First off, did you did you write them down? Did you write them down? You were supposed to write them down, guys. If you didn't, take a screenshot. All right. You have five seconds to take a screenshot. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Beautiful. So now, guys, what you are gonna do, guys? You are gonna talk about your friends okay all right but before that let's let's review the second um the second example okay so how how are you going to describe your friends okay uh could you please help me read hold on oh, hold on all right could you please help me read the question that we have above uh let's see marjorie Hello, Marjorie? Yes. All right, so can you help me read the question that we have above? Um, I don't see the question. Oh. Well, Uh-huh. I don't know if you can see it well. Which statement best describes Andrea? That one? Okay, beautiful, guys. Which statement best describes and Andrea? Beautiful job. Okay, so how is Sandra? Okay, who can tell me what uh, one description of Andrea? Make me teacher. Me teacher. All right, go for it. And Andrea is someone who is uh, egotistical and stingy. Repeat, guys. Very good job. Thank you, man. Applause, guys, for volunteering. Good job, bro. All right, now repeat, guys. Andrea is someone who is egotistical and stingy. All right, now, guys, don't say stingy, okay? Stingy kumaso, okay? Stingy, stingy es el cipitillo. All right, all right, repeat, guys. Guys, what is the sound of a snake? ¿Cuál es el sonido de un, de un diputado? Perdón, una serpiente. How do you, how do you say it? <laughs> Right? Oh, or the cobrador in the microbus, right? Right? That's that's the, the sound that you want to make. So everybody repeat. Stingy. 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 All right? Remember el diputado, digo, el, la serpiente, right? Stingy. Stingy. Right? Stingy. I'm sorry, guys. If, if any of you is a diputado, I'm sorry. All right? Ah. ah. No, you're not. You're not. No. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. All right. So what else? What else is uh, Andrea? Uh, Victor. What else is Andrea? Andrea. Andrea. Andrea is someone who is sociable and e easy going. Beautiful job. Sociable and easy going. Okay. Now, guys, with this, with the pronunciation of this, guys. All right. It's very. It's very small. But don't say sociable. Say so shable. Repeat sociable. Sociable. The sound is like an O U, guys. Sociable. 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 It's a vowel sound, guys. Okay. So repeat, guys. Andre is someone who is sociable and easygoing. Andre is someone who is sociable and easygoing. Beautiful job. And uh, Francisco, what else? What else is Andrea? Andrea is someone who is temperamental and unreliable. Okay, guys, 
uh, remember how did I teach you how to pronounce this? Um, unreliable. Um, I, I told you to say ah, uh, unreliable. Right? Like you're a unreliable. 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 Call it, call it the rapper sound, okay? Like Eminem. Uh, 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 unreliable. Uh, Okay. Unreliable. Beautiful, beautiful. How do you say it then? Francisco? Unreliable. 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 All right, now the R, don't say R. Right, no. Unreliable. Unreliable. All right, beautiful, Unreliable. guys. So let's talk about James, all right? So what kind of person is James? Me teacher. Me teacher. Go. Jorge. Go, Jorge. James is someone who is egotistical and stingy. All right, remember, guys, two pronunciation mistakes there, right? Ego. Egotistical. Repeat, egotistical. Oh, sorry. Egotistical. egotistical. All right, remember the, the sound of the diputado. How is the sound of the diputado, guys? La serpiente? All right, so how do you say it? Say it one more time. Stingy. Stingy. All right, beautiful job. Okay, what else is, what else is James? Me teacher, what else is James? Me teacher, Gloria. Go, Go Gloria. James is someone who is sociable and easy going. Easy going, repeat easy going. Easy, easy going. going. Beautiful, applause for Gloria, guys. Nice pronunciation, I like it. All right, um, Gloria, pick someone who has beautiful eyes. Okay, um, Foster. Foster, okay, Foster. Thank you. <laughs> All right, uh, number three, Foster, right? Last example about James. Okay, which statement best describes Mr. Johnson? Uh, Mr. Johnson is someone who is egotistical and stingy. No, 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 number three, oh. like, I mean this. I'm oh, sorry. sorry. James is someone who is temperamental, temperamental and unreliable. Beautiful, okay. All right, go with Mr. Johnson now. Okay, which statement best describes Mr. Johnson? Mr. Okay. Johnson is someone who is egotistical and stingy. All right, beautiful, okay? So everything else is the same, guys. I just want you to be able to describe. Are there any other, other, any other um, adjectives, guys, that we can use to describe people? Who can tell me what other type of adjectives? Maybe, uh, let's see, let's pretend you know Elena. I don't know if you know Elena, right? So... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Brenda, tell me, tell me something, tell me about Elena. Elena is someone who is responsible. Very good, who is responsible. Is that true, Elena? Yes. All right, Thank beautiful. <laughs> All right, Elena, pick someone and give me an example about that person. Uh, Jorge. So tell me about Jorge. Jorge. Jorge is someone who is sociable. Okay, someone who is sociable. All right, you got the hang of it. Good job. Now, Jorge, can you pick someone else and give me the example about that person? Ricardo. All right, so tell me about Ricardo. Okay. Uh, Ricardo is a someone, is a person models. models. Mm, okay, guys, how can we help him? Who is? Oh, who is, okay. Who is? Who is? Modest, repeat. Modest. Ricardo modest. is someone who is modest. Ricardo is someone, Ricardo who, is is someone is who is modest. modest. Yeah. All right, Ricardo, pick someone else and give me an example. Uh, Gloria. Gloria, all right, tell me about Gloria. Gloria is someone who is... Uh, oh. Supportive. Support Repeat, guys, supportive. Supportive. Support okay. So, Gloria, good job. Gloria is someone who is supportive. Beautiful. Gloria, pick someone else and give an example. Okay, uh, Francisco huh? is someone who is reliable. Who is re, not rrr. Reliable. 
feet, reliable. Good job. Reliable. All right, beautiful, guys. Applause for all of you. Good job. All right. So, guys, the, the, uh, do we have any questions? Do we all understand? Easy peasy? Easy peasy. Easy peasy? Okay, beautiful. No questions? For real? If I if we do a test, you're, are you going to get a 10? Of course. Of course. <laughs> All right, now guys, we're gonna call. We're gonna talk in couple. We're gonna work in couples right now, guys. Um, I want you to talk, guys, about your best friend, okay? So basically, about excuse you're gonna, me, I can hear. You're gonna describe. All right, you're gonna describe your best friend, best friend. right? So my best friend's name is Rafa, right? Rafa is someone um someone who is very reliable all right reliable all right because okay i don't want you to say just okay uh rafa is someone who's very reliable right rafa is someone who is sociable and easy going i want you to i want you to to build the conversation guys to, to actually describe your person okay so rafa is someone who is very reliable because um he can keep secrets I can tell him whatever I want, and I know that he will never bring them up, bring them out to the public. Um, I also think that Rafa is someone who is very smart. In fact, uh, we were the, the two smartest kid, uh, kids in school, and he was, you know, he was first place. Sometimes I was first, second, first place too. Um, but we got along pretty well because of that. We were just like nerds back then. Also, uh, Rafa is someone who is very unreliable. Okay, so things like that. You got the point. Yes. All right. So yes. Tell me, tell me the why, guys. Why? If you tell me that uh, I don't know, your your best friend is Pilsenoberto. All right. So you have to tell me why Pilsenoberto. All right. Why Pilsenoberto? Is um is, uh, is intelligent. Okay. All right, all right. Are we, uh, do we have any questions? No questions. All right, let's go then. All right, let's practice then. Hello, Arturo. Hi. Let's practice, sir. I'm gonna send a message to the people who didn't join the class. So, so I'm I'm gonna be here. Where's your partner? Oh, there you go, Luis. Uh, there. All right. Hi. All, right. All right. Let's go, guys. Let me hear you. Okay. Uh, my best friend name is Rene, and Rene is someone who is very sociable. He likes to go to party, uh, spend time with friends and family, and new, uh, new persons, new persons in her life, in his life. Okay, say new people instead of new persons. Yeah, new people. Thank you. New persons is very formal. Okay. All right, but good job, man. You didn't make any other mistake. Continue. I I want you to talk a lot about your friend, not just like one sentence. Okay. Even if you combine sentences. So as okay. I explain, I, I don't want you to be saying, oh, uh, Rafa is someone who is reliable. Rafa is someone who is intelligent. No, not like that. Rafa is someone who is reliable because of this, and that, this, and that. All right? Okay. So let's go. On your car? Yeah. So right now, I'm arriving. <laughs> okay. So, okay, so what do we wait? need to practice? Uh, you have to describe your best friend. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, well, my best friend has been with me for 12 years. Uh, he's uh, very easygoing. <laughs> he mm -hmm. never gets angry. So my best friend is someone who is easygoing uh, because he never gets angry. Mm -hmm. And also he is reliable. No, 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 sorry. He is very so sociable. 
she always uh, tried to talk to, to other people and uh, know other people and she always is smiling and 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 saying things and the histories. Good job. Continue. 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 And in my case, uh, Eduardo uh, is an easygoing person too. Uh, he he don't have uh, he he don't gets problems easily, mm. and he's not who's uh, he's no who he's no one who who get uh, fights or something like that easily. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, my friend is it's also he's, he's not someone who gets into fights. Into fights. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, or, I guess. Or get angry. Hello, Francisco. Hello. Hey. Hello, my, welcome to the conversation. Thank you. My partner didn't accept the invitation, I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I had to move don't, worry, don't worry, don't <laughs> worry. Enjoy oh. with us. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well. I, tell, I tell Ricardo that my, my best friend is my wife. She is someone who is a temporal, temporal, and is supporting. Is is it going? Why yes. is she temperamental person? Yes. <laughs> my wife. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't <Yeah>. know. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but, but but I like. Yeah. <laughs> I have I have uh, I have nineteen years married with Elena. Another person. See for me. Another person. Another friend. Uh, okay. Another person. Okay. Um, okay. I have another friend that she lives in uh, space. Um, the characteristic of, of she uh, is a positive person too. <laughs> is a very positive person. She likes uh, to help people. Yes. Um, she's very smart too. And it's a, uh, it's a sociable because, it's a sociable person because she likes to talk to everybody when she goes to a place. And she likes to invent things. I don't know, but it's, it's a nice person. Nice. You have to to try oh. with another person too. Okay. Uh, I had a uh, a one coworker in my work. It's a very person. It's a like a, it's a going because uh, he doesn't worry much because my boss. Uh, uh, he he moves uh, because the job or studies or something like that. No, the the job. Because oh. the job. Wow, that's mm -hmm. interesting. Wow. Well, uh, I have a, a another uh, friend who who is someone uh, who likes to play. All right, welcome back, guys. Hey, beautiful job, guys. Applause for you. You were doing excellent. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Hey, I don't know. I think that four people are missing or three. Anyways, guys, um, I noticed that you don't have, you didn't have any issue with this topic. So I'm proud of you. Beautiful job. You did a pretty good job, guys. Um, so, do you have any questions, guys? Do you have any questions regarding um, regarding classes? I have a question. Tell me. But it's not about this class. Tell me. Um, I have a I had a problem today when I tried to finish my 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 test. Okay. Um, which which part of the test? Um. Put the the last uh, question of the one point. I don't know if, if I can say one one point or one dot. One point. 
1.4. Yes, 1. because 4. I don't this have one. too much time. Yes, the last, yes. <laughs> this one? So you want the answer for that? All right, there, there is your answer. Take a screenshot, you got five seconds. <laughs> Uh, no, no, it's it's because I, I I don't I didn't understand well the difference between uh, uh, relative pronouns as objects. Oh, okay, you didn't even understand the difference between relative pronouns. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. All right. So. So okay. So you got you got the first example here. Now, do me a favor. Are you able, have you seen the videos online? Have you watched the YouTube videos? Yes, the truth. Yes, I did. Okay, so you can help yourself with the, with the YouTube videos, okay? I can also send you to your personal WhatsApp, like, like uh, grammar exercise so you can practice this, because we can't go back to a topic, all right? That's why, that's why we have the, the YouTube videos, but I would, we, I would be more than glad to help you um, but we don't have time. We have to. We have to move on. Okay. But but did did you have them? Did you have the answers? Did uh, you get the answers right now? Yes, but uh, I have a problem because because I put I don't like to be with people who I have nothing in common with. But it take it like. Uh, like it was wrong, but it, it wasn't. I don't like to be with people who I have nothing uh, in common with. Yes, I prove with who, with that. No, without, but that's, that's, with, that's the answer. With. <laughs> it, okay, first yeah, off. But... All right, guys, let me, let, me, let me tell you something, okay? This is a very common mistake. First off, guys, you have to mind this, the apostrophe. The apostrophe, guys, is not the same as this. Okay, there is another character here, which is a, a uh, no, no, no. quotation know, mark. So that. apostrophe and also the, the, you know, the dot at the end. You have to mind those things, okay? So the, the answer for this, Alison, if you want, I don't like to be with people who with people. I have nothing oh, in common with okay this is the answer with if you put it like yes. if you put it like this do you do you think that do you think that if i didn't put the point at the end it take it like it it was wrong yes it the, will take it as wrong yes the same the same happened to me and the problem was the apostrophe exactly the apostrophe uh, or, the, or the dot at the end yeah, the same yeah, happened to correct. me. You, it was uh, the dot. Okay, I think I, I think it was the 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 point at the end. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Did you get it right Teacher. now? Tell Teacher. me. Sorry, Tell uh, me. but in my case, in my case, I use the uh, the clouds uh, who and the and if but. But when I use the clause uh, that is correct. Okay. And I think it's the point and now, at the end. And now I, I see the, the answer uh, if both uh, true. Mm -hmm. So do you have it right or wrong? It's right. All right, beautiful then. Don't worry then. All right, don't worry. Yes, guys, it's multiple answers. All right, pero no se tiene que olvidar del punto final, que si no se lo pone mal, okay? Beautiful, beautiful. All right, guys, any other question? Okay. Any other question, no question? Beautiful, beautiful. All right, guys, so let's solve this, okay? You should have you should have finished this by now, guys, but let's solve it together. So, Gloria, help me read. Gloria, one, two, three. Okay, uh, which statement begs this great Andrea? Okay, repeat. Which statement best describes Andrea? Andrea. Andrea. Which statement best describes 
Andrea. Andrea. Okay, beautiful. So what is the answer for this, guys? The second one. Is Andrea is someone who is beautiful and stingy. Is beautiful, okay. Stingy. Number two, Luis Medrano. Which statement best describes James? And the answer for this? Uh, James is someone who is sociable and easygoing. Beautiful, all right. Last one. Uh, uh, pick someone who likes to uh, dance. Who likes dance? Who likes to dance. <laughs> oh, to dance, yeah, to dance, sorry. Uh, Brenda. Brenda, do you like dancing, Brenda? Looks Sometimes. like. Sometimes. <laughs> ah, beautiful, all right. What is the answer? Uh, Mr. Johnson is someone who is temperamental and unreliable. 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 Good job, unreliable. guys. Okay, so here are the answers, guys. Okay. Yes. All right, guys. We all finished the platform, right? Todos, todos terminamos la sección uno, right? Yes. 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 Beautiful, yes, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, guys. So, okay. So help me read the objective for uh, right now, uh, Foster. Yeah, go for it. Foster, you're muted. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was mute. By the end of this class, participants will learn how to express likes and dislikes using, uh, using clauses with, with it plus adverbial clauses with when. Beautiful, guys. Real quick, guys. What's a clause? Who can tell me? Five, four, three. Ricardo, tell me what's a clause. Five, four, three, Five, two. Five. Close. Well, uh, yeah, too slow. Ronnie, tell me what's a close. Five, four, <laughs> three, and two. <laughs> too slow. Brenda, tell me what's a close. When? No, that's not a close. Uh, Jorge, what's a close? Good or that? No. no. Uh, uh, one close. What's a what's a close? A very close. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, guys. Okay, guys. A close, guys. Write it down in your notebook. All right, a clause is a sentence that uh, contains uh, a subject and a verb in most cases, okay? It's just a sentence, guys, okay? It contains a subject and a verb. That's a clause, all right? So how do we join clauses? What's, what's one of the ways that, uh, that we used to join clauses? We join them with? That. It with okay, we use it with 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 with, uh, with who with that okay, and how do we call this relative relative pronouns okay, all right, so far so good, so far so good, yes no all right, so you so you know now okay, all right. You want to marry sentence one to sentence two. You marry them with relative pronouns, okay? All right, so it basically goes like sentence one, all right, plus relative pronouns, plus sentence two, okay? So it looks like this, guys, right? Write it down. I don't know. I think it'll be easier for you to remember it that way okay good beautiful okay. all right so so now guys now that you know what a clause is let's take a look at a clause with it okay so guys how do you say how do you say um me gusta cuando me miras así Mamacita. <laughs> How do you say that? I like it when you look look at me like that. Mamacita. <laughs> Mamacita. <laughs> All right. Very good. Very good, guys. All right, guys. So notice something. You don't say, I like when you look at me like that. No, guys. I love, okay. I love it. All I... right. When you use it like this, guys, okay, if it is something positive, 
If you're gonna say something positive, you have to say I like love it. Love it. Everybody, no, I like no, it. No. I like I it. it. I, I love it. it. I love it. love it. What is another synonym? Give me another synonym. I hate it. Well, I hate it. Is we're gonna get there. Positive, positive. I makes me happy. Adore it. Everybody, I adore it. I adore it. Okay, let's use these these three, okay? All right, so now. So this guys, let me ask you something. Does it contain a subject? Does it yes. contain a subject? Yes. What is the subject here? I, 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 does it contain a verb? Like. Yes. Yes. All right. So is this a clause? No. 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 Yes, no. guys. Yes. I just I used to explain to you a clause. It's a sentence that contains a subject and a verb, right? So it is a clause, right? Got it? Now, let's join these guys with another word, which is called when, okay? I like it when. All right, and give me a compliment. Give me another, another sentence. I like it when. You send me. Hot. When you send me what? Eh... <laughs> uh, uh, one email. When you when you send me emails, okay. <laughs> emoji. Emoji. <laughs> emoji. Uh, my emojis. Emoji. Yes. Uh, I like it when you send me emojis. Okay. <laughs> Who wants to try the other example, guys? Me teacher. Me teacher. I love it. Me teacher. Go for it. Uh, I love it when you tell me, senorita. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> when you call me, senorita. Hey, I was gonna, I was gonna, I was thinking exactly the same thing. All right. I love it when you call me, senorita. All right, good job, good job, right? All right, hey, <laughs> good, good, good. I, I love that woman, by the way. She's so, so beautiful. All right, uh, I adore it. I adore it. Who can give me an example with I adore it? Me, teacher. Go. I adore it when my daughter hug me. When my daughter hug okay. me, guys? What's wrong here? There is something wrong here. Hugs. 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 Very Hugs. good third person. Beautiful, guys. Guys, applause for you. You got it. Now, guys, did you understand 100% this? Todo el mundo entendió 100% esto, esta parte. Yes? Teacher, yes. 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 Beautiful, right? Now that is something positive, guys. This is this is actually the same, guys. Repeat, guys. I don't mind. I don't yes. mind. I don't mind. I don't mind it. I don't, I don't mind. mind. It. Now the word, the phrase, the phrase "I don't mind" guys means me vale, right? Like no me importa. Right? I don't mind that. Okay, we use the it. it. So we so it. we make it into you know the first part of the clause. All right. Who can give an example with "I don't mind it"? Me, teacher. I don't mind it when my friends forget my birthday. Okay, when my <laughs> friends forget my birthday. Okay. Oh, that's too sad, man. <laughs> All right. Now, guys, notice something else, okay? This is called, all right, we can substitute when with if in both scenarios, guys. I can say... Mm -hmm. I can say, I don't mind it if, if my friends forget about my birthday because I'm forever alone. <laughs> All, right. All, right. All right. Beautiful. All right. What about, what about, um, I like it, guys. Can I say, I like it if... Hey, um, you send me emojis? emojis. Can I say this? All right, now, it is technically correct, guys, but it doesn't make sense, okay? So, with positive, guys, do not say, do not say if, because... Hey, sure. Tell me. Mm -hmm. Would so, you so, put this sentence again? Again? Could, could I what? 
Put the sentence again. Which sentence? And uh, could you, uh, you your audio, your your cutting off, your audio is cutting off. I can't yes, you say what you she's having problems with the internet. Yeah, you're having problems with the internet, but but uh you told me you told me that you want me you wanted me to put another example. Yes, with if. With if, okay. Now with if you're only gonna use it, uh, you're only gonna use it here, okay? You're not gonna use it here, not here, just here. So you can. What I was saying is that you can substitute when uh, with if, okay? You can substitute it. Mm -hmm. So you can say I don't mind it, right? I don't mind it if my friends yeah. forget about my birthday okay got it got it all right beautiful guys all right so with negatives okay who wants to it, it is the same guys so who wants to give me an example with i don't like it me teacher go for it gloria go gloria i don't, I don't like it when you don't tell me true when you don't tell me Repeat again, it's that truth. truth. That the truth. The truth. Truth. Repeat truth. The truth. The truth. No, not the truth. The truth. The truth. The truth. truth. Okay. The truth. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, let's have another one here. Uh, I can't stand it. No puedo soportarlo. Okay. So who can give me an example with, you know what? Let's talk about Jorge's wife. Jorge's, are, are you married, Jorge? Yes, teacher. Jorge's, Jorge's wife can't can stand it <laughs> when, what? When he is looking another woman. <laughs> okay, when he looks at another woman. Very good job, All right? Good job, okay? All right, so let's say Elena's... Uh, husband, are you are you husband. married to uh, Elena? Yes, I am. All right, Elena's husband hated when when what? All right, give me an example, guys. <laughs> when she don't when she don't, when, don't cook. <laughs> when she don't, guys, or she doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't. Oh, yeah. she doesn't. doesn't. Arrive cook. home early. Arrive home early. Good job. <laughs> Beautiful, guys. You got a 10 out of 10, all right? Le voy a dar un score de eso de viejita. Do you remember this? Yes. <laughs> 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 all right. Beautiful. Question so far, guys. Question, 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 question. I have one. Question. Tell me. Uh, I don't mind is the same of I say I don't care. Yes. No. It's the same, but it is not offensive. Ah. When you say I don't care, it sounds offensive, okay? It's more rude. Yeah, it's rude. I don't when, care. If you say I don't care, it's offensive, right? Uh, so instead say I don't mind. Now do me a favor, guys. Write it down in your notebook right now. You got one minute to write this down in your notebook, okay? It is the structure. Okay. Okay. I don't write. I take a picture. Yes, I say I'm I would. I would prefer it if you right. can. Um, I would prefer that you write it down in your notebook because it's easier to remember if you use your hands mm -hmm. to do something. Right. Yes. Teacher, I got a question. Tell me. Uh, so classes with, uh, I so uh, for example, I like it. It's only used uh, when. Uh, if the, the other clauses starts with when? Um, I can say I like it. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it, it is basically only used, uh, mainly used if the other clause starts with when. Yes. It's just don't complicate your life so much, guys, with thinking about the grammar stuff. It just makes sense when you're speaking, you know? 
you say, I like it. You know, hey, I like it when you call me senorita, right? Uh, I like it when we go riding together. I like it when we go to the movies. All right. But yeah, you can use it just with when. Right now, I cannot think of another example coming off the top of my head regarding that. Uh, so okay. for instance, just remember we use it with when. All right. Can, can me I gusta, use... Me gusta cuando. Me gusta cuando. Eso significa. Me gusta cuando vos. All right. Is it correct if I say I love it how you sing the song? I no. In that case, that would be I love how you sing that song. Okay. Same. So we can use how. You can use what? How instead of when? Yeah, you can use how, but remember, it's not the same because you cannot okay. say. You can't say. Uh, you can't say, I love it. How you sing that song? This is incorrect. Mm -hmm. You have to remove it. I I love how you sing that song. Oh, okay, perfect. All right. So so, um, I'm sorry. Tell me. So how how when you said with it like it love it? You use that when you use when. Okay. All right. Just with okay. when. Or if in some scenarios, right? If or when. Uh -huh. All right, beautiful, guys. So it's, it's almost time, guys. So, uh, guys, you told me that you all finished the platform. So thank you very much. On Monday, guys, I'm going to help you with this. Uh, if you didn't finish it for some reason, right, I'm going to give you the answer for this. But section one is complete, guys. Did you read, uh, did you read this? Did you do the reading? Yes. yes it's all right, beautiful, beautiful, all beautiful. <laughs> All right, guys. So, guys, it's it's really it's really amazing, guys. I love this class. Uh, I, I really. The only thing that makes me sad, guys, is that people. Some people are not connecting. I don't know what happened, but I like the class. I like this class with you guys, and hopefully, uh, you understand everything. All right. If you have any doubts, guys, let me know. Um, and enjoy the rest of your week, guys. Thank you. Thank you. See you, brother. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Good night. Good night, guys. See you.